Today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we check out a new version of my signature beard comber pickup, the Unshaven.
So I guess it's been about a year since my regular uncovered version of my signature pickup beard comber has been out. And I wanted to let you guys know that a new version is out. Um, sonically, it's very, very similar. Um, the specs have not changed, but these have a distressed cover option that you can now get. Um, and they're awesome. They add a little bit of a mid-range um, just due to the cover. And um, I love it. And this particular pickup that I'm holding in my hand is the brand spanking new patina version of this pickup. And I don't know if you can see that. But it is awesome. And you've probably seen these in several guitars that I have. It's in my GNL. Well, not the uncovered. The regular version is in my GNL Rampage, Jerry Cantrell signature model. And the unshaven are in my uh, Schecter. Uh, baritone guitar and they're also now in my newly acquired 1977 Gibson RD guitar and I think they look awesome I really like them um, a lot of people ask what they compare to <clears throat> they're kind of similar to a bare knuckle juggernaut pickup um, very very similar um, the highs are rolled off a tad bit more on the beard comer which can be a good or bad thing, depending on what you're looking for. And I've also been told they are kind of similar to a Duncan Custom 5 pickup. And that's basically it. It's awesome. It's uh, You can coil tap it. And I love them. They're really specifically made for um, a mahogany guitar, which is what I originally tested these pickups in. This Gibson RD is all maple. The next maple. Um, and the fingerboard is rosewood and... As you just heard, I think it sounds pretty awesome in, in this guitar as well. Um, my GNL is an all maple guitar, and the Beard Comer is the only pickup that I've actually liked in that guitar, ironically. I've tried a bunch of them, not expecting the Beard Comer to actually work, and it did. Um, I've ha also had a lot of people ask me um, how they sound in basswood, and I'm happy to report that it sounds awesome in basswood too. I've had a couple of guys send me test clips of the Beard Comers in the basswood, and it's legit. At any rate, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And my name is Fluff. Thanks for watching.